high grade twos. So today we're going to finish looking at all the rest of the Beatitudes. So before we get into the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth Beatitude, we're going to review the first three we talked about yesterday. So the first one was, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Do you remember what that means? Well, that means that when we know that we need God more than the things in our life, we are being poor in spirit. Being poor in spirit means wanting to do God's will. Let's look at the next one. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. So what does that mean? Do you remember? So Jesus wants us to know that when we are sad, we can talk to him and he can help us through our sadness. And we can also help those who are sad. We can go out of our way to make those who are sad happy. And blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Do you remember what that means? That means that um, when we we aren't brag, we or we don't brag, sorry. So if you are meek, you are not bragging. So you might be really good at something, but it takes courage to do the things God wants us to do instead of the things that we might like to do or the things that others are doing. So when we're not bragging about things and saying, I'm the best, I'm the best, being meek, that's called being meek. So if you're humble and you, you kind of keep it to yourself and just um, share your special gifts and talents without bragging, that's being meek. All right, now let's look at the next ones. I'm going to highlight them in different colors so you know what we're talking about. So let's look at the fourth beatitude here. Uh, let's use green. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Let's read that again. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. So look at that word righteousness. I Have you seen that word before? Do you see any smaller word? Look at that word in here. Right. So being righteous means doing what is right. What do you think hunger and thirst for righteousness means? Well, it means that Jesus wants us to make things right for people who are in need. Who do you think Jesus is talking about when he asks us to hunger for what is right? Does he want us to think about ourselves? So Jesus wants us to be concerned about other people having what they need. Can you think of people who may need our help to make things right? Can you talk about that with a grown-up that's beside you? So you might have thought about the poor, the weak, the homeless, or maybe even a friend of yours that's being bullied. So can you think of how you can help those people? And think about how helping others would make you happy. Let's look at this next one. Blessed are the, mer oops, oops, what happened there? Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. What does mercy mean? Mercy means compassion and forgiveness. So the word merciful means being full of mercy. So how can you show mercy to others? How can you show compassion and forgiveness to others? Can you talk about that with a grown-up that's beside you? How can you show mercy to others? Talk about that for a moment. How can being merciful make us happy? All right, let's look at the next one, the sixth one. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. What do you think it means to be pure in heart? So grade twos, people who are pure in heart are kind to others and do not wish them harm. They think about what God wants them to do, and they try hard to follow God's laws. Sometimes we try to be good, just to get a reward. But God wants us to be good because it's the right thing to do. Have you ever been rewarded for doing something good? How about 
the times when you have done something good and have not been rewarded. So God really wants you to be kind and follow his laws without expecting a reward. Does that make sense? All right, let's look at the seventh one. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. What is a peacemaker? Great twos. Yeah, you're kind of trying to like make things right and make peace with people and help with hard situations. Have you ever acted like a peacemaker? Can you share that experience with a grown up beside you? Okay, I hope you had some ideas of how you were a peacemaker. Maybe your brothers and sisters were fighting, and maybe you said, okay, let's try to solve this problem together. Maybe you had friends on the playground who were fighting, and you stepped in and tried to make peace. All right, let's look at the last be beatitude, the eighth beatitude. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, that's a loaded one. That's big words. Let's read it again. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Let's look at that word persecuted. That means to be made to suffer or to be treated badly. Jesus was persecuted before he died on the cross. Sometimes we can be persecuted too. Sometimes people are teased or called names because they do the right thing. What do you think you should do if you are being teased for doing the right thing? Do you think you should do the right thing anyway? Remember, adults are always there to help you. So if you're being teased for doing the right thing, you can always find an adult to help you. All right, grade threes, let, or grade twos, sorry. Um, let's look at the last three lines here. Blessed are you when people re revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. I'm going to read that one more time. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is in heaven. So these last three lines are a summary, so just kind of like a recap of what all the Beatitudes say together. Okay? Jesus will reward us in heaven if we stand up for what he taught us in the Beatitudes, even though others may make fun of us or laugh at us. All right, grade twos, thank you so much for learning all about the Beatitudes with me. I know it's a lot of information, but it's really good to just stop and think of all the things Jesus wants us to do on earth so that we can live out his message and his love to others.